Hey everybody. I'm hoping that uh, the uh, the title to this video attracted you, <coughs> excuse me, to the video because uh, it's it's something. It's definitely something. Um, I own my own business as a contractor. You know, I that's a piece of downspout for a gutter. I'm headed to a job now. Finish sheetrock, install sheetrock, paint decks everything small business owner it's not like i'm making millions a year anyway neither here nor there what i do pride myself in my business on and all my employees which is only two other than me is doing a good job we really 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 strive to do a great job for our customer i don't charge what a lot of people charge so you know i'm not trying to retire today <laughs> because of it but it seems like bigger companies want to do whatever they want to do however they want to do it and then expect you just to take it because well they're a bigger company so I bought a DR Horton home and it turns out that that's one of the biggest mistakes I ever made DR Horton and I was told by a couple people before I ever bought it so I can't be mad at anybody but me for buying it but it's five bedroom, three and a half bathroom house. Nice house, you know. We're getting, you know, knocking on the door of a quarter of a million dollars for this house. Um, but it's it's just a pile of crap, really. I mean, it's not falling down. I'm wrong. Structurally, it seems to be very sound. But it's a two-story house. Um, have, you know, floor squeak up stairs. Uh, Sheetrock issues things that I can fix I can absolutely fix it but when you pay a bunch of money for a brand new house you shouldn't have to fix that you know I'm not gonna buy a brand new truck or car and then it break down down the, the road from where I bought it and me fix it it's not the way it happens so I bought a brand new house this house is just slightly over a year old uh, I guess it's the first day of March of 2019 so it was finished last April, Let's see, no, this is the first day of May. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a contractor, I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, the house just slightly over a year old. And uh, so they come in after a year <clears throat> and gonna fix any issues. And there's gonna be issues with things. There's issues with some of the stuff I do and I get out there and I fix it. I go one time, I try to, and, not every job. I mean, I've had to go to one job that I can remember of and fix something that popped up. It wasn't even anything that I did. It was something kind of, it looked, it's something I did exacerbated and another issue. And they're such nice people, such great customers. I went and fixed it on my dime. I didn't charge them a penny. Even though I could have, hey, that's not me. I did this and this problem's already here and it just showed up. I just went and fixed it. It wasn't that big a deal. Not everybody's going to do that, and I understand that. That's fine. But D.R. Horton has come to my house. Well, contractors for D.R. Horton, or D.R. Horton, or however it works, and took care of some took care of some sheetrock issues. And um, and I have since it was originally built repainted uh, the bottom floor of my house a gray. They had it white, painted gray. So they come in and they fix these screw heads. Nail heads are popping out, bad spots, bad seams. Just it looks like a three-year-old did the mud job and sanding job on this. It's horrible. I would, I'd be all over with my employees if they did this kind of work. So I seen it before I bought it. And they said, "Oh, we will come in and fix it." Well, a year rock. Then after we buy the house, oh, well, you got to wait a year for us to come fix it. That way, you know, we come get it all of it once. And I said, "Okay, you know what?" It's just cosmetic. I can handle it for a year. Heck, a couple of things I actually fix, fixed myself. And uh, you can't see where I fixed it because I do quality work. And it's not that I'm better than anybody else. It's just I do what you're supposed to do as a contractor. So these D.L. Horton folks, they come in. They lay down all this plastic. Uh, and nothing against anybody from any other country. You know, every, I'm, you know, I'm okay with whatever. As long as you're here legally, I'm cool. But... The one guy that spoke English, you know, 
he was cool. I mean, the other guys were cool too, but you know, it's kind of tough when you walk through your house and you're kind of, you say something to somebody and they just nod their head and smile at you. You know, and then you find out later, well, hey, he don't even speak English. Well, okie dokie then. Anyways, they laid out the plastic, they did their mudding, put it on, they put hair dryers on it to dry it, which isn't a great idea. You know, it's, they get, we have different time muds, 30, 45, 90 minute, and then slow mud, then a soft set mud. Anyways, uh, they use the wrong mud. They use a finished mud because you use it, then you come back the next day and you fix it, you sand it. Well, they didn't. They put hair dryers on it, and that'll cause it to crack. That'll cause it to bubble. All kind of issues. So they did it as halfway as they could. Then they sanded it down. Then they repainted it. Well, now, I guess being a contractor, you know, I walked through and I noticed things like that. I would hope anybody in their house would notice things like that because it's a huge investment. Usually the largest investment you'll ever make. Um, so I call them back and go, hey, look, this ain't going to cut it right here. And I send them pictures of it. Well, their representative, Austin is his name. Don't know his last name. Probably wouldn't say it if I did. But he's like, oh, well, um, that's not the color we painted the house originally. And I said, no, you're absolutely right. It is not. But this isn't a paint issue. I said, I'm going to prove it because I'm going to take the crap out that y'all put in. I'm going to repair it properly. I'm going to repaint it with the same paint. And then I'm going to show you that you can't see what I fixed. And it's going to be the same exact spots. And some people, you just, they're going to call you a liar no matter what. I've been doing contract work for knock on door 20 years. This dude barely is 20 years old. So apparently he, he must know more than me. And that's fine. I mean, hey, there's some 20 year olds know more you know, about picking their nose or something than I do, I'm sure. But, um, you know, he, he essentially tried to big boy me and say, oh, well, it's a paint issue. No, it's not. No, it's not. And uh, we had to get a, a plumber to come and fix a faucet that this kid screwed up by using a metric hex head key on a standard um, socket head capture in a faucet. And I, I was like, I told my wife when he was there, I was like, I've never heard of any faucet that has a metric bolt in it. Couldn't find out if you buy something like a thousand dollar faucet from overseas, it comes with metric in it. Well, this is a DR Horton home and this has got fifty dollar faucets in it rather than thousand dollar faucets. So it was standard. So he screwed it up. The plumber, the journeyman plumber come in and he even said, he said, man, did you go up there and fill this? No. I said, dude from the DR Horton, one of the representatives, he went up there and messed with it. He said, well, he jacked it up. He screwed it up. I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to try to get this sock head cap screw out. Which is Allen head bolt, if everybody doesn't know. So it made his job harder. Which hey, whatever. I think he ended up having to change the whole faucet rather than just the one seat in that knob. So uh, you know, this kid's you know, pretty much proven to me he doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Um so what I'm all of this to tell you this. If you're like looking to buy a home, don't buy a DR Horton home. And I, you know, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. I was told, just like I'm telling you, don't buy one. And I thought, oh, okay, maybe it's some old, you know, people, they used to do a bad job. They used to not give a crap about their customer. This and other. I mean, because they were lovey, dovey. I mean, before they got that money. Once the bank gave them their money, it's like they didn't know me anymore. It's like, who are you? You. And before that, it was like jumping through hoops like a car salesman. They are, there you go. It just now hit me. They're just like car salesmen. They love you. Greatest thing in the world. Once you drive off a lot, they don't remember you. They forget who you are. And I'm not saying all car salesmen are that way. Um, in fact, I just got a text from the Austin guy trying to you know, ask me not to talk to a supervisor, which I'm going to, you know, that's just the way to do it. You know, it, somebody's got to know. But uh, don't waste your money on Deal Horton. I don't care, you know, I thought, you know, like I say, it's the money I gave is a really good deal for the size house I have. And I'm finding out why now. <laughs> I'm absolutely finding out why. Um, so just don't waste your time. Please don't don't waste your time i hope to god somebody from i hope everybody from dale horton sees this and contacts me because trust me you guys have my number because i've been very clear with being unsatisfied 
And um, if anybody needs to talk to me, I'm not hard to find. We can talk via text, phone, or, well, I'm an old timer. I like to do it face to face. People seem to have a different attitude when you talk face to face. Anyways, um, just stay away from D.R. Horton. Don't. They're building subdivisions, they're throwing them up fast. And like anything else you do really fast, it's not going to be really good. McDonald's cooks their burgers really fast. But if you cook one at home, it's way better. And it takes a lot longer to do. So um, just uh, just don't fool with D.R. Horton. That's my best advice to you. Don't waste your money. Because in the long run, it will be a waste of money. Because I can foresee now having to fix some of this myself. And if they just plain refuse to do what they're contractually obligated to do, I can see that this where this is going. So, you know, unless you want the hassle. And if you like being just in mental anguish and pain over dealing with it, hey, D.R. Horton's who you want to mess with. If you like being miserable, the, they are your company. Wear it out. But if you want an easy home buying experience and somebody did not lie to you and, you know, I've had them just straight lie to me before they knew I was a contractor for a living, I mean, you straight lie. And then I told them, I said, you're lying to me. Stop lying. I'm a contractor and this is how this works. You know, and then, then all of a sudden the lies stopped. But I'd feel sorry for some nice couple business people so, oh man, beautiful house, pretty house, this, that, and other, and purchase a D. O. Horton home, and then later, like, holy crap, you know, they said this, they said this, they said this, and it, maybe it's just our house is not that way, you know, no way they could lie, but no, they've actually bold face lied to me. They lied to my wife for a minute, and they didn't know that she works for me, so she could finish sheetrock and all that too, and that didn't that didn't work out too good either. So, you know, I'm just telling you my experience. What do I know? You may go some other where, some other place than Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and get you a D.O. Horton home, and it may be great. But uh, I'm guessing not. I'm going to say that they're all junk because the person that told me not to buy a D.O. Horton home is not from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. They're from somewhere else where D.O. Horton homes are built, and they said, don't do it. But, you know, I'm hard-headed, set in my ways. Uh, i got to make these mistakes for myself. And I hope you guys will heed my warning and not make the mistakes I make. But hey, you know, y'all may be hard headed too and like making those mistakes. But you guys have a great day and thanks for watching my video. And um, good luck. Good luck.